Well, I didn't know I wanted to be a teacher from the get-go. Um, it was kind of, it was, it was something that came to be. It was, it was a calling, um, but I didn't know early on. So when, after college, I, I started working for a tech company for a couple years because I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. Um, I knew I wanted to give back to the community, just wasn't sure how. Um, I ended up getting involved with the local community college where I live and became a mentor for the Puente program there, where I was working with first generation college students, primarily students of color who um, don't know or don't have experience with navigating the college system, which is something that I can relate to. I was the first in my family to graduate. And it was then that I decided that this is something that gave me more, more meaning and value, and I started looking into a credential program, and the more I looked into it, it just made more sense. And it was definitely one of the hardest decisions that I made at the time because I was leaving an upwardly mobile job, but when I made the change, it, I just knew. And I've been here, I've been teaching now for five years. And as cliche as it sounds, I know it was one of the best decisions that I've ever made. Middle school's kind of that age where they're trying to find a sense of identity, but I think they're also trying to find a sense of belonging, which can make them vulnerable. I feel like once you can um, get to know the child and start trying to address all of their needs, academic, physical, social, emotional, then you can really start to make some, some progress with the kids. They put their, their walls down. They're, they feel more safe. They feel more like they feel like they can take more risk in the classroom, intellectual risk. They tend to have more of a, a growth mindset. They're, they're less worried about what their peers are going to think or say about them because they, they know this is a safe place. And I see my kids and I see opportunities. And I feel like sometimes when you're not exposed to that, um, you don't know what's there. And so I tell from day one, letting them know that they can and will be someone at the end of the road and that it starts today. They're decisions that they make. What they do today will affect tomorrow opportunities. And I, I'm a true believer in that. And I feel like that coupled with um, making a concerted effort with the, their social emotional needs is super, super important. So I'm really grateful to have, to have this relationship with Acknowledge Alliance and make sure that we are doing what we need to do to make sure our, our students grow up to be healthy, responsible young individuals. I mean, obviously we see the benefits of having them here with our kids. Our kids are able to better reflect and bounce ideas and go um, you know, to a, a safe person if need be to discuss things with, but they're also here to support our staff, the teachers, because just like children, just like our, our students, adults go through things as well. And it's nice to know that um, our staff here and elsewhere in the district have the resource to to bounce ideas, reflect, debrief, and kind of just work th things out with someone. And I know Jean has been great, and she's um, highly respected and well regarded in our district. She's amazing, and we're really lucky to have her and the relationship with Acknowledge Alliance.